okra sauce today. So, we can get okra sauce. I love to use Corona oil. This oil is very, very good in frying stuff. And the okra sauce, what we do, if you don't want your okra to have so much water in it, we steam the okra. I steam the okra at first, separately. I'm parboiling my meat right now. I'm parboiling my meat right now. It means I've been parboiling now for the past 45 minutes. I want it very thinner. Very, very thinner. Parboiled meat. I have everything in here. We got pepper in here. I use this pepper right here. I use sea salt. I use garlic pepper. And I use little red pepper in this meat. And I just put our little syrup in here. To make everything taste very well. In using this, you don't really use salt because all this, the garlic and everything, come with salt. So you don't really use salt. The only thing I use the salt on so far is when I was steaming the okra. When I was steaming the okra, I slashed a little bit of salt into the in the okra. And now I'm going to put a little bit of salt in the oil while the oil get hot for the okra and now we're waiting for our oil to get very very hot we're gonna wait the oil gonna get hot and then we're gonna fry the okra in it that's making the okra sauce the okra sauce okra stew you can call it okra sauce you can call it okra stew but the okra stew i cook it my way my way is when you buy the frozen okra the frosty okra comes with a lot of water. So what we want to do, we want to steam the okra by itself. And then we put the oil into the pot. Now the oil in the pot, we're waiting for the oil to get very, very hot. Because when the oil is so hot and you fry your okra, you don't see the okra being slimed. It, it cuts the okra from not being slimy. So now, if you want to know now, in here, I have my tomatoes. I have my garlic and I have my onion. But this right here is not going to go into the pot until the okra is fried. So if you want to know if your, your oil is out of time, what we do here, we going to take a little bit of onion, put it in the oil. The oil is not ready hot yet the way I want it to be. So we going to wait. The oil to get hot, and then we're going to fry our okra. This is okra sauce, or you can call it okra stew, however you want to call it in your way. And as we wait in, we this meat where we got lime in it, we got chicken in this, we got um beef in it. I'm not ready into cooking pork as much. We got a lot of my friends, some of them don't eat pork. But this is lamb, this is chicken, most likely in the in the smoke talking leg in this. And now there's soup, there's soup right here. We turn it into pepper soup. The pepper soup is very, it gets very cold. And now the weather is bad. We got the flu, we got these virus going around. So you always have to keep you always want to keep it spicy. You want to keep it spicy here. You want to keep it real spicy. You want to have something spicy coming into your system, cleaning your system on a daily basis. So the soup, we got everything on here that you can even drink this soup here. Like a noodle soup. Like right now I can drop a noodles right in here. Bang, that's a noodle soup right here. Now the okra is hot. There we go. The okra is hot. 
Now we're going to put it in. There we go. 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 See? The okra is well called now. So we're going to stir. We use parita because we don't want the tomato be, to be too much into the okra store. And you just want it to be red. So we use the parita to make it a little bit redder, you know, before we do our okra. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to slice a little bit of parita into this right here. See? All right, then. We're gonna do here. We're gonna put one spoon, one spoon of this into this, into the okra sauce. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic, ginger. I always say garlic, ginger, grain, ginger, little bit. And then we're gonna have a little bit of seasoned salt because we already have salt in this stew. So a little bit of seasoned salt. We're gonna close it up. And then we're gonna come here, take this spoon, stir it. Now, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to put the garlic, the fresh onion, and the tomatoes itself into this. And stir everything together. Everything together now. Everything together. This all. This is our okra sauce right here. You can eat it with rice. Very, very good. If you are okra lover, you're gonna really love this. Okay, we got everything stirring together. So the only thing we're waiting for now, mm, our meat. Mm. So, so good. Then, There is a pepper right here. This pepper is very hot. So, and I love spicy food. So we're gonna put all the pepper in here. There we go. This is okra sauce. Okra stew, however you wanna call it. So at this point, we're gonna put a little bit of this. All pepper season. This is very good. This is it. All we have to do here now, stir a little bit. And then, we're gonna cover it, let it boil.